my stomach. My stomach's been tore up for like days, dude. What is this? Day six? Day five? <laughs> day six, motherfucks. I had one small relapse, but all in all, I proved myself I can fucking do this. I make such a big deal about shit I don't want to do. And I have to say this. My friend, I'm so thankful for the people I have in my life because, okay, first of all, not drinking makes you think a lot clearer, okay, a lot clearer, like, some of the stuff, I'm just like, god damn you, Katie, um, but it makes you think a lot clearer, right, and it's making me be, like, so appreciative of the friends I do have that are supporting me while I'm just trying to, like, not drink anymore, even Lisa Ray, you know what I mean? Lisa Ray is a drinker, but we've hung out twice now, and she didn't have a drink at all. And that's like, that's a big deal. That's friendship, man, for real. To choose to not do something you enjoy to do to support your friend while they're battling through it. That is fucking incredible. Same with Doug. Just everybody. Everyone's been checking on me, how you doing, things like that. To be honest with you, it's rough. I've been at home. A lot, working on my computer, and out in the backyard, training the pup, doing all that kind of shit that I need to do. That I haven't, the shit that I have put off for months. But it's just like such a good feeling, like my mods and everybody. Like, just, it's a good feeling. And I guess I never, maybe I've always had it and didn't appreciate it or maybe even realize it before. But just to know that people are, like, supporting me, and it's, this is just hard, you know, and it is, and it's it's just a hard fucking thing, man. And I don't know if I would have been able to do this with my last group of mods, to be perfectly honest with you. Even though I love them all for different reasons at one time, I have more healthier support than I've ever had in my life. And it's not just like, oh, Katie, this and that. It's like... <laughs> People are actually telling me what I don't want to motherfucking hear, you know, and I'm listening. Nika, yeah, I've had one slip up. Um, I just, I, I'm learning my triggers. My triggers are stress, uh, getting overwhelmed, and getting pissed. Those are my fucking triggers to wanting to drink, and I'm starting to figure that out. So, um I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do in replace of drinking. I'm still thinking about that because I don't, I don't really know um, what I have been doing. Is I've been calling people when I'm like at night when I'm starting to feel like I need to drink or something like that. I've been trying to keep myself busy, busy, busy. You know, okay. Uh, I am easily bored. I'm ADD, and that's never a good thing for an addict. That is usually a recipe for an addict when you have ADD because your mind's constantly moving, 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 and you just want something to make your mind not move so fast sometimes. You just want to chill. Oh, and when I did have my small relapse, guilt got a hold of me. I had four drinks, and I had a choice right then and there. Do I want to do a few shots? Do I want to go home? Do I want to just drink one more vodka cranberry? What do I want to do? And I sat there in that moment, lit a cigarette, and said, ah, I'm going to go home. Told my ride, I was like, let's just go. And they were, and I even impressed, they were, like, the person I was with, I'm not, you don't know her, so it doesn't matter. Um, she was like, wow. She's like, I've never seen you walk away from a bus. And I was like, well, you're about to start seeing a lot more things out of me you haven't seen before. So... She was like, yeah, this would be the time where we'd start hammering them down and get trashed. And I was like, well... I gotta make choices. Everything about fucking choices right now. And I told her, I said, I'm not quitting drinking. Like, you guys, I know you said this to Lisa. I'm not quitting. Like, I'm getting control of my drinking right now. And part of getting control is knowing your fucking limits, knowing when to drink, when not to drink, when it's, it's never necessary to drink. But I need to not drink every day. And in the very least, if I do drink, I need to know when to walk away. When I, there is no reason why I can't maintain a buzz and go on. It doesn't mean you have to get fucking hammered, sloppy drunk every fucking time. There was a time in my life where I never liked getting sloppy drunk or hammered. Somewhere in the last, I don't know, six months to a year, I have started to enjoy that, to get completely out of my fucking mind, I guess. And this, I just, I don't like it because I'm not in control of what I say and do. You know? Okay, and, and let's talk a little bit more. 
that Thursday night. And there's this heinous video going around about me. People have uploaded it. Tonight I'm going to go through and strike them all. I gave them their time. I gave them their time. Now i got to go through and strike about four or five people. There are some things, and I got, I got, now everyone's saying I'm a racist, okay? And let me, let me address this racist shit real fast. First of all, have you ever met a racist who wasn't proud to be a racist? I haven't. When people ask me, are you racist? No. If I was a racist, I'd say, fuck yes, I'm a racist, and what of it? Just like I do anything else, I stand behind. I'm not a fucking racist. Now they're out here trying to campaign, whatever. Do what you gotta do. I've talked to a lot of people, actually, um... There's some um, people on Twitter who reached out to me in my email. Apparently, Black Lives Matter has been sent my videos, and I talked to one of the leaders yesterday. We had a good conversation uh, for about two hours, dude. I was on the phone forever, and I was explaining my side and what I said. I said, they're taking these clips out of context. Here, you want to see the full video? Send it on over to her. This morning, I got a fucking text back from her that said, hey, I'm going to call you tonight. I understand, like, pretty much, I understand what's going on. I want to talk to you about a few other things. So, I might be part of a, a movement here that you guys never thought that I would be. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't care. I'll stand behind anything as long as it ain't ruining America. Uh, I get why Black My Lives Matter is doing what they do, and they do matter. At the end of the day, everybody's life matters, but until we, people, there is a thing called white privilege, too. I don't care. If you don't see it, then you're a fucking idiot. Um... I totally get what the Black Lives Matter movement's doing. What I don't stand behind is the rioting, uh, the, you know, tearing down uh, houses. I don't like that aspect. I'm sorry. There's good and bad and everything. And I do not stand behind that shit. It's fucking ridiculous. Why are we ruining statues? Why are we ruining Graceland? Why are we doing this? What used to be such a beautiful movement is turned into, it's a terroristic, it's a, just like the KKK, terrorist, terrorist everywhere, okay? And it is what it is, and if you have a problem with me saying that, then you have a problem being in this chat and get the fuck out, okay? Because I just explained it to some, literally, some fat nasty was trying to get me killed by the BLM movement. I literally talked to a leader for two hours yesterday. I'm going to shock the shit out of you here soon. And it's people like that that they are against themselves that are trying to pit, ruin what they're doing. And they understand, yes, like they said, in every group, like she said, every group, there's good and bad. Right now, the bad is outshining the good in the BLM uh, movement. And they know that, too. And they're not happy about it either. So, and uh, this, and, and they are, she was making it sound like Antifa, Antifa and BLM are totally separate entities. And people are getting that confused. So, I don't know. I got a lot to learn with it, I guess. I I just know what I see on the media, what I talk to y'all about, what I see in the news and stuff. So, yeah, I'm basing my opinion. I have never talked to someone part of the actual movement. Now that I have, my eyes are a little bit open. I see what they're doing. I'm st I stand before anyone, or I'll stand beside anyone, before, behind, beside, never behind, um, anyone. Uh, who's trying to, like, make the world a better place, man, because this place fucking sucks right now. Not just for black people, for everybody. White people, black people, Mexican people, and the rest of them, you know. It just sucks. Tons of them right now out for me, and I understand that. There is one creator, and it's not popular to have my back. It is not popular for a YouTube creator to be my friend. Plain and simple. It is more lucrative as a YouTube creator to not be my friend and talk shit about me and get numbers into the chat. Okay? But there has been one person who ain't worried about the numbers. They ain't worried about how they look in front of everybody. And yeah, he's a little weird sometimes and all this and that, but I look past. I like weird people. I like different people. If everybody was the same, they're fucking boring. Eccentric and weird people are always, I, I like those types. This person's a little eccentric, definitely weird. His name is McHenry Cruiser, okay? And he is the only fucking creator right now in the midst of hell who has got my back, okay? Who is, oh, no, whoring motherfucking chainsaw. Someone sent me a video, and I watched it, and I was like, huh, she gets it. Everyone, is, people hated her. I've never hated Corey. She had, like, I'll fuck with her and say, don't you start with me, motherfucker. Because, yeah, she'd always put a randy ass two cents in on everything, and sometimes I don't even like it. You know, she says some shitty things to me, too, man. She used to be a thorn in my ass. But anyway, she, uh, you know, said some nice things. But this McHenry Cruiser guy, have you guys heard of him? His channel's name is McHenry Cruiser. All right? He's weird. 
straight up. Dude's weird. All right. But he has my back and nobody else out here does but Corey motherfucking chainsaw. All right. And how many times have I had these cocksuckers backs when I shouldn't have? How many times have I rolled hard for Randy when I motherfucking shouldn't have? Uh, fucking fat ass butch. Uh, motherfucker B. All of these people. My old, like, where are they? So all these motherfuckers that uh, I had their back and went, went through, like, the pits of fiery hell over Suboxone and this and that, and they were lying to me, and I looked like a fucking moron. It would be nice, especially them be little drug addicts as they are, to have my back while I'm fighting my alcohol addiction, not beat me down with a 500-pound piece of shit motherfucker. Hello? Don't get me wrong. Randy had my back a little bit, but not like I wanted her to. Not like I had her fucking back in the, when we were going through uh, Suboxone Gate. You know what I mean? I'm talking about YouTube creators. I'm not talking about my subscribers. You guys are fantastic. You're wonderful. You're everything I dream of. I'm talking about the YouTube creators who have dick rode me, used my name, talked about me for hours, called me a friend at one point in time. Now we're just whatever associates. You can't even help, you know, be nice while I'm going through some hard shit. Fuck you guys. I'm so glad I got the fuck away from all those people. They're no good. I'm not going to go another year telling you you're no good before y'all learn that your fucking selves. Ask half the, ask the drama community in the first year. Yeah, virtually all of them are in my chat because what I said is about these people have come true. I got fucking used and shit like that. Period. The end. Meanwhile, I was the only one growing. Why? Because I was fighting hard for people. They never, none of them have had my back hard solid. Never. Here. I understand not wanting to stick up for me, especially with some of the shit I've said and all this. I get it. Don't fucking, you know, but you don't have to beat me while I'm motherfucking down. You don't have to get my enemies up on your panel like they're the goddamn moral compass in the fucking community. Same person who's going to fucking jail real soon. Clock at the house. Checkmate. Um, same person who beats their fuck up. Really? Disgusting. Wait until I snap. I'm getting a show together now. It's going to be a doozy. It's going to be a good one, and we're going to do it on Drama Live. But I'm going to come with everything I need, facts, old school Drama Live dragging, all right, with receipts, with interviews, with people actually on the panel that can tell us the real tea. I am fucking sick and tired of it, all right? So fuck these people who are trying to get me while I'm down, and if you're in their chats and sitting there while they're talking about me, you're a no-good motherfucker, too. Don't be in my chat. I don't fuck with people who fuck with people I do not fuck with. So you guys got balls coming up in here. I'm going to start taking fucking names and calling you out left and, left and right. I, and wait until my uh, drama live. I'm going to show you where kids have been removed from homes for abuse. From some of your little people in this fucking community. Oh my. It is big time disgusting. If you support anyone who abuses their children and have been taken out of the home for abuse, you are dead to me and we are going to start coming for you. Yes, we are. There's a whole new agenda coming up. We're going to start getting back at some of these motherfuckers that just pushed it a little too far. I've already worked on that the last couple of days. Big things are in the works. And, you know, I don't make the, I don't fucking say something that ain't going to happen. Yep. Slander's ass. I ain't coming with slander. I'm coming with motherfucking receipts. Straight from government websites. I'm going to go ahead and drop them fucking government we websites so you guys can click it and follow through as I go through yourselves. So you can see it's actually coming from the state. Um, I got sexually abused by my stepdad when I was younger. That is not the reason I drank yet. I don't let that hinder anything in my life, okay? I rise above it. I live through it. Yeah, it was tragic. I don't sit here and harp on it 20, 30 years later. That's right. You get better in time. The whole point in my... Fucked up things happen to you in life, and it's up to you to either get past them, get through them, or fuck yourself over completely. I chose to get past it, get through it, and live the very best life I can live, and not let that determine the rest of my future, okay? And that is the fucking thing. And, and if you can't keep up with my story, then don't fucking speak on it. It's fucking rude. Dude, it's fucking real. I don't talk about you, your motherfucking kids, your fucking, you and your daddy fucking, none of that. So leave me the fuck out of your mouths. Damn, I'm starting to become sober and I'm starting to get my own personality back. I just felt that. I just felt like myself for a minute. 